Hello everyone! Welcome to today's anime video tutorial. In this session, I will show you the entire workflow and teach you step by step how to create an anime short film. In the production of this anime, the tools we need to prepare include GPT, Pika, Midjourney, PS, AE, and CapCut. First, we need to establish a simple script and jot down our ideas in a notebook. This step is crucial as it directly determines whether the final visuals match what you've envisioned in your mind. In the script, we need to describe the lighting and the camera movements. Here, based on my understanding of the scene content, I'll make the camera perform a push and pull motion, which should align with reasonable camera movements for the current scene. Next, we need to establish a perspective for the scene and control the background music. What I've written here is from a first-person perspective, and the background music fades out. This is also a description of the background music. Appropriate background music can enhance the overall atmosphere of the film and provide viewers with an immersive experience. When writing the scripts for the subsequent shots, the process will follow this same approach. Next, we open GPT and let GPT write a prompt for us based on the content of the storyboard script that fits the mid-journey style. Here I specify to GPT that the generated prompts must strictly follow the requirements. What I've written is, the prompt must include the time, location, lighting, background, and atmosphere descriptions, and it must be written in English and be concise. Then we click Send, and GPT will generate the prompt content according to the instructions we just provided. At this point, we can enter the description of the scene from our storyboard into the dialog box. Here I've written, A close-up of the upper body, a man wearing a white shirt and black framed glasses, looking haggard, sitting in front of a computer. The background is a nighttime office, empty and deserted, with the office lighting dim. Next, we obtained a prompt that aligns with the style we defined earlier. We simply need to copy this into Midjourney to proceed. Next, we launch Midjourney, navigate to Settings, and select the latest anime drawing model, Niji 6. Then, we paste the prompt provided by GPT into the dialog box. It's important to include descriptions of the visual style at both the beginning and end of the prompt. For example, I added American comic and Spider-Man cartoon styles. Finally, we click on Generate to proceed. Following this approach, we generate each scene. It's important to select scenes with similar lighting and style for individual extraction and creation. This ensures consistency across the visual elements of our project. Then, we open Pika. Upload the images we've obtained, add appropriate camera movements, and use precise reverse prompts to achieve the desired effect. Then, we open Photoshop to address potential issues such as disharmony in the scene or mismatches in color and lighting. Through recomposition or adjustments, we aim to achieve a more cohesive and unified visual presentation. Next, open After Effects to create a heartbeat effect on an electrocardiogram. EKG. Start by creating a solid layer in black, draw the path, add a 3D stroke, apply transition effects, and then insert keyframes and masks to animate the scene. Now all our preparatory work is almost finished. We will import all the materials into CapCut to start editing. Regarding split-screen scenes, I used curve speed changes in the keyframes, which makes the scenes look smoother and more natural. Finally, we also need to pay extra attention to audio processing because in a film, both visuals and sound occupy very important positions. A small tip is that we can select appropriate background music from the audio effects provided by CapCut, based on the content of the scenes which includes emotional progression, visual style, lighting color, etc. Finally, we have created a complete animated short film. That concludes all the content for this video. Thank you for watching. For a full demonstration of the animation, please refer to my previous video. If you have any better ideas or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below. See you in the next video.